everyone welcome to lectures by aparna in today's video we will discuss a question from voltage divider biasing of a pnp transistor if you would like to watch the theory part of voltage divider biasing in detail i will give its video link in the description box just below this video so let's move on to today's session this is the question i will read the question determine ic and bc of the pnp circuit shown below given that beta is 120 and transistor used is silicon so we have to find ic and bc of the circuit ic and bc means we have to find the operating point of the circuit this is ic this is ie this is ib this is vb and this is vc the polarities here in pnp transistor will be opposite to that of npn transistor to find ic and vc we have to analyze this circuit so first we have to convert this circuit into its thevenin equivalent circuit to make analysis easier so as a first step put a cut here this is done to remove this portion of the circuit and consider only the input section now the input section will be like this this portion which goes to the base of the transistor can be named terminal a and this portion which goes to the ground can be named terminal b now redraw this circuit as so we have redrawn this circuit like this negative terminal of 18 volt is connected to resistance r1 that is why it is shown as minus 18 volt here here r1 is connected then r2 and across r2 comes terminals a and b now we have to find vab this vab is the thevenin's voltage or vth so here vth is equal to minus 18 volt into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 i have used voltage division rule here so substituting the values of r1 and r2 we can write minus 18 volt into r2 is 10k by r1 is 47k plus 10k simplifying this we will get it as minus 3.5 157 volt so this is vth now we have to find rth or thevenin's resistance for that replace any voltage source present in the circuit with a short circuit and current source if any present with open circuit so in this circuit we are having only voltage source so replace it with a short circuit so we got it like this now we have to calculate the thevenin's resistance or rth looking from this side so rth is equal to r1 parallel to r2 which is equal to r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 substituting the values we can write it as 47k into 10k by 47k plus 10k which will be equal to 8.245 kilo ohm so this is rth and this is vth now we have to draw the thevenin's equivalent circuit first we have to connect vth so that is minus 3.175 so we have to connect the minus terminal here and plus and then write 3.157 so when it is connected to rth it will be minus terminal connected so it will become minus 3.157 so rth is equal to 8.245 kilo ohm then connect back this portion which we had removed in the first step so i have to connect it back the pnp transistor resistance rc voltage here is minus 18 volt rc is 2.4 kilo ohm here re which is equal to 1.1 kilo ohm it is connected to ground 
this is IB, this is IC, this is IE, VB, and VC. Now let us analyze this circuit. Consider the input section. We have to apply KVL or Kirchhoff's voltage law and write the loop equation. KVL says that the algebraic sum of voltages in a loop will be equal to 0. So we are going, so we are going in this direction. So we have to start from here. When we go in this direction, it is actually a decrease in potential because we are going from plus to minus. So we can write minus 3.157. When I reach here, current is flowing from a higher potential to lower potential. So when I go in this direction, it is actually an increase in potential. So plus IB into RTH is 8.245 kilo ohm. When I reach here again, it is an increase in potential. So plus VB. Here current is flowing from a higher potential to lower potential. So when I go in this direction, it is actually an increase in potential. So plus IE into RE is 1.1 kilo ohm equal to 0. So let this be equation 1. Now IE is equal to beta plus 1 IB. This is a relation between emitter current and base current. So substituting the value of beta, beta is equal to 120 here. 120 plus 1 into IB which is equal to 121 IB. So, substituting this value for IB in this equation, we can write it as minus 3.157 plus IB into 8.245 kilo ohm plus VB is 0.7 because the transistor used is silicon. So, 0.7 plus IE is 121 IB, 121 IB into 1.1 kilo ohm is equal to 0. Now I have to take all terms with IB on one side. So IB into 8.245K plus 121 into 1.1K 1 .1 is equal to 3.157 minus 0.7. So IB into 141.345K is equal to 2.457 or I can write IB is equal to 17.38 micro ampere. So I got IB. Now I have to find IC. IC is equal to beta IB. Beta is 120. 120 into 17.38 microampere. IC will be equal to 2.085 milliampere. So I got IC. Now we have to find BC. For that consider the output section. Minus 18 volt is actually like this. It is the negative terminal of 18 volt that is connected to RC. That is why it is given as minus 18 volt here. When we go in this direction, we are going from a plus to minus. So it is actually a decrease in potential. So we have to write minus 18. When I reach here, current is flowing from a higher potential to lower potential. So when I go in this direction, it is an increase in potential. So plus IC into RC is 2.4 kilo ohm. When I reach here, it is an increase in potential. So plus Vc. Again here, current is flowing from a higher potential to lower potential. So when I go in this direction, increase in potential plus Ie into 1.1k equal to 0. Ic is almost equal to Ie. So we can write this equation as minus 18 plus Ic into 2.4k plus Vc plus IC into 1.1K equal to 0. We have to find VCE. So VCE is equal to 18 minus IC into 2.4K plus 1.1K. This will be equal to 18 minus 
IC value is 2.085 into 10 raised to minus 3 into adding this you will get it as 3.5k. This will be equal to 18 minus 7.2975 which is equal to 10.7 volt. So we got VC is equal to 10.7 volt. So we got IC and VC. IC is 2.085 milliampere and VC is 10.7 volt. This will be the operating point of this transistor. This is how we solve a question from voltage divider by circuit with PNP transistor. If this video has helped you, please do subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to like and share this video. Thank you.